This is the Wager Model 6500 Full Flow Smoke Meter. A highly accurate instrument, very easy to use, lightweight, and reasonably priced. The Wager Model 6500 Smoke Meter is in full compliance with the current SAE J1667 test criteria. Everything you need is in this case. We also include an impact printer and an extension pole. The control unit connects to the sensor head assembly. You can operate the unit on direct current or about 40 hours on a full battery charge. The system also accepts an interface to your computer. We supply you with a check filter to verify the accuracy of calibration. We will demonstrate the snap acceleration or snap idle test. Bring the engine to operating temperature. Turn the engine off. Two different sensor heads are available. The first demonstration is the full flow head. Attach the sensor head to the stack. Always use caution. Keep cables away from a hot stack. It can also be positioned from the ground with the extension pole. The exact position of the sensor head depends on the stack configuration. We also offer a partial flow head. It allows testing even in adverse weather conditions. For the most accurate reading, it is supplied with nozzles for both straight and curved stacks. Attachment is simple. For either unit, keep cables away from hot stack. When the unit is aligned properly on the stack, Take the control unit into the cab of the vehicle. Press the on-off switch to activate the unit. It will automatically perform a self-calibration. If you need more light, press night light for extra illumination. The factory default setting is a stack size of five. If this agrees with your truck, press save. To change stack size, press select. The display scrolls in increments of one inch. Press save when you have reached your measurement. The horsepower displayed is the default rating for the selected stack size. To change this setting, press select, then press save. You are now ready to perform the three preliminary tests required under SAE J1667. The display will give you the prompt start test. The display shows T1 equals. Put the transmission in neutral. Depress the accelerator full throttle and hold for about four seconds. Release. Press the save button. Press start test. The display shows T2 equals. Repeat the test sequence two more times. At the end of the three tests, the unit displays the spread. If it is 5% or less, you are ready to do the actual test. Turn the unit off and then back on. The unit displays the next record number. Repeat the three steps of the test. At the end of the test sequence, press Compute Average. Press Save to keep the results in memory. Up to 100 tests can be stored. To retrieve saved records, hold the print button and press on off. Pressing select scrolls through all the saved tests. To print the results, connect the printer. Press print to print that test. The printout shows the test results to attach to your paperwork. To delete a test from memory, press zero. It is very important that the lenses are cleaned regularly. It assures accurate test results. Snap off the closures. Wipe the lenses with a soft cloth. We recommend regular checks with the calibration filter. Start the unit. Wait until the unit cycles to the test sequence. Check the results. For the partial flow head, insert the filter holder into the notch on the back of the head. This section of the training video covers the PC Interface Software version 5.1. The Interface Software is a communication program and requires a COM port on your laptop to run. To determine which COM port is available on your laptop, click Start, Control Panel. 
on the top right, view by, select large icons, and then click device manager. In the device manager screen, expand open the section called ports, common LPT. Here you will see that this laptop is set up with a USB serial port COM number 4. Remember this COM 4 number as it must be incorporated into the PC interface software. At this point go ahead and close all these windows. Once you've determined the proper communication port number, double click the 6500 icon and it will open up the program. The program is menu driven and is accessed by clicking print to PC. On the initial setup for the program, select configuration and here you will see fields that you'll fill in for the testing location information. On the bottom left you'll notice the COM port. We need to change this to COM port number 4 to match the COM port number that was determined in the control panel click save and then click replace. Now the program is ready to be used. For example, you may have 10 snap tests in the morning and come back to the office in the afternoon to print them. When you perform the tests, record the vehicle information you wish to save and the record number that was issued from the control unit for that particular vehicle. The control unit can store up to 100 records. To print the results from the control unit to the PC, ensure the main menu displays Print to PC. Connect the interface cable from your PC to the 6500 control unit. Now turn the control unit on and immediately press Print on the control unit. The meter will display a record number. Using the selection button on the control unit, scroll through the records until you find one you wish to print. Once you find the one you wish to print, press Print on the control unit a second time and a dialog box will appear on the computer screen. Click OK and this will bring up the vehicle information screen. Here you can enter in the VIN, uh, vehicle ID, license plate, the year of the vehicle, whether the test passed or not, and also the inspector name. I'll just type in some random data for the example. Select that it passed and put in the name. Click OK. Now the program will ask you, do you want to save this record? Go ahead and save it. Now that the test has been stored in the program, to print the report, you can either press Print here or select Print to PC, open up the menu and select Print to PC Viewer. In the Print to PC Viewer, you have access to all tests that are stored in the program. Using the arrow button on the left, scroll through until you find the required test and then press print on the computer screen. After about six months of use, the program may have 900 records stored. Instead of scrolling through all the stored tests using the arrow button, you can actually type in record number 900 and hit enter and it will automatically jump to that location. There's another option in the main menu, and this is uh, called Ambient Correction Calculator. At this point, you can enter in ambient temperature, relative humidity, and barometric pressure, and enter in the average opacity from the actual test. and it will display the dew point and also the ambient corrected opacity. The last option in the main menu is upload all tests and upload viewer. This section is for other applications and is not used for snap tests. Thank you for watching and feel free to contact customer service if you have any questions. 336-969 6909. Thank you. And lastly, to close out the program, just go ahead and click the red X.